It's just that many vets came out of fucking falls. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he ended up breaking bones instead of yeah, fixing them. One of the saddest stories, right? One of the saddest <clears throat> stories about the Troubles was about this guy from Bala Murphy who was a lunatic, right? He was that mad of a lunatic that the Ra wouldn't let him in. So because the Ra wouldn't let him in, he set up his own gang of paramilitaries, but it was all, like, these lunatics that nobody would let in the gang, right? Right. So they would have got, like, blast bombs and patter bombs set up, right? And then attacked the Brits. But he had a bulldog, and he threw a blast bomb, right, at the Brits, and the dog run and got the blast bomb. And started running back, back towards them. And so they all had to run. And the fucking blast bomb went off and blew the dog's head off. And the dog was apparently still running about with no head, right? So your mom was fucking, like, <laughs> devastated that this dog died, right? And I'm hearing this story and I'm going, fucking poor dog. You know, I've been told stories about fucking people being... I've seen people being shot during the troubles. And I wasn't as distraught apart from this wee dog got its fucking head blew off, right? But that's not even the worst part of this story. <laughs> we hear this. So your mom goes to the rat and goes, I want the dog to get a Republican funeral because he died back in service. <laughs> right? <laughs> and the rat was like, what? And he's like, the dog died in active service. I wanted to get a Republican fruit. No, like, could you imagine a dog getting the fucking fruit? So the rat was like, what do we tell this lunatic? Because he was going on and on and on about the dog getting a Republican fruit. No, right? So what happened was a few locals, they got together and went, listen, we've spoke to the boys there. They're not getting the Republican fruit. No, but what we will do is, right, see when you bury him, we'll bury him in a tricolor and you can fire a few shots over him or something at night time, right? But we're going to put a mural up in the wall for him. And he's like, that's amazing, right? So they started drawing pictures and all of what the mural would be. And they brought him this picture. And in the picture, right, so there was a, all these Brits. And then there was the street. And it was all Emmons riding in the background. And then it showed the dog. But they drew the dog with no head. Like the head on the ground. And the, the thought that he would have went, fucking wankers and all, right? And would have clicked on it was a joke. So they brought it to him and the, like the bookies and showed him this and went, what do you think this? This is going to go on the side of the house in Ballamurphy Road. And he started crying in the bookies and went, that's fucking beautiful. <laughs> may we fucking, may we fucking Jago would have fucking loved that. <laughs> started crying and thought he was getting a mural. And they went fucking nuts when it wasn't done. And they were like, what the fuck? So he was like, it's campaign to get this mural put in the wall of his dog with no fucking head. Who was an active member of the IRA? <laughs> Who was a Britney Spoon dog? 